Now we are going to focus on the analysis of terrestrial and satellite signals. That is, analog TV, DVB-T, DVB-T2 terrestrial digital signals, DVB-C, DVB-C2 cable TV digital signals, and analog satellite and DVB-S, DVB-S2 digital satellite signals. First of all, we will need to access to the terrestrial and satellite settings menu by short pressing the preferences button. Here we need to set signal source to RF and band to terrestrial or satellite depending on what sort of signal we want to analyze. Supply output will enable or disable the power supply to external units such as pre-amplifiers, active antennas, satellite LMBs, satellite dish rotors, etc. Supply voltage will let you choose the exact voltage you want to supply to that external device. Finally, drain will show you what is the actual voltage and current intensity flowing to the external unit. If there is any problem, a warning window displaying the message short circuit will appear on a screen and the equipment will not supply power. If we select terrestrial, from that moment on, the spectrum analyzer mode will show us the band from 5 MHz to 1000 MHz, that is the VHF and UHF bands. If we select satellite, the spectrum analyzer screen will be showing us the band from 1000 to 2150 MHz, that is the L band. When satellite band is selected, it is possible to communicate through DISEC SATCR or JES commands with other external satellite devices such as multi switches. Once DISEC protocol is activated, the F3 and F4 keys will allow you to enter into advanced configuration menus for the DISEC commands. For SATCR protocol, you access to its configuration menus by going to the satellite settings, selecting SCD EN50494 and config, For JES protocol, you access to its configuration menus by going to the satellite settings, selecting SCD2 EN50607 and config. Polarization lets you choose between vertical right or horizontal left, while band lets you choose from high band or low band in case of KU band satellites. Polarization and band can be edited as long as we are moving by frequency instead of by channel. LMB low oscillator and LMB high oscillator fields define the local LMB low and high oscillator frequencies for KU band LMBs. In case we are working with a C band LMB, we will only be able to set up one single LMB oscillator field. We will go through the rest of options when we see more advanced chapters.